There's an area on my farm that I save to the conditions are perfect because the last thing I want to do is burn out this, this area. It's a, it's a ridge that uh, divides three fields, three food sources. And uh, it's like, uh, you know, if you go into this ridge early in the season, you may not see much sign it, because it's, it's not a lot of, there's not a lot of oaks, no, no, no uh, mass crops. It's not a feeding area. But what it is, it's, it's an interstate. It's an interstate that, that allows does to, uh, to, uh, to, to try to flee from bucks and it allows bucks to find the does in their bedding areas. And uh, it's, it's a place where uh, a buck can, can leave a lot of sign and from the ridge, he could also smell the bottoms. I mean, he could smell the, the hollows, depending on the wind, he could put his nose up. It's just a great place to intercept a buck that could come from your property or could come from miles away during the rut. Because, you know, a lot of times they'll travel like that when in search of does. This, so I call this little area, uh, we call it two things. We call it, uh, I call it an inter the interstate because it's just like, man, it's just all the time bucks going through there. And uh, we call it B-roll ridge because you're always guaranteed during the right period of time uh, footage and all, all kinds of footage. So I saved this, this area so till the conditions are just right because I never want to burn this spot out. So this particular evening, everything was perfect. The wind was perfect blowing. It was actually blowing out of the, uh, out of the north, uh, northwest. And, uh, and across the field behind us, you know, in, in an area where there's no food. So uh, that, that was perfect, and it was not blowing so hard that it was swirling into those hollows. Um, had a lot of activity early when we got in. Uh, a few, a uh, young buck was chasing a doe, and a couple of does were moving. Things were happening. Uh, some period, a period went by, a small, a short period went by. And what's neat, too, is uh, we got in, I think we got in about uh, 2.30, three o'clock in the afternoon, we're in there early and, and stuff was happening. So it was pretty exciting already. But we noticed uh, um, a little while later, some does running through the timber and a nice buck chasing them. And you know, we're looking at this buck and we're trying to determine, is, is this a shooter? Is he not a shooter? Is he, you know, cause he was flashing going through there. And I'd say probably an hour after that, these does came down the ridge and back behind the does, we could see this buck coming, you know, and still I'm trying to determine, you know, I don't know this buck. This is not one of our bucks. He doesn't live on my farm. Uh, I could tell he was a mature buck, but I was still trying to determine if I wanted to shoot him. I still had some time left and I had a, I had a tag left. So, but he got, he came within bow range and, uh, and we shot him. He went down right on the spot. Bam, he went down and it was, it was really exciting. But, but the neat thing about it and the message that I, I want to convey here is that um, spots like that, uh, you save, you save them. I mean, I want to drive that point home. You save them to the right time to, to hunt them. And, and my, my slogan is that you bank your best spots till it's the best time to hunt them. And so everything came together, but it didn't come together by accident. It came together because uh, we, uh, we didn't run in there and, and hunt it. But it came together because we planned and it came be together because we knew the property we were hunting. We knew uh, where the, the most travel will be at what time of the year. And so that's what, uh, that's what luck is, is when preparation uh, meets opportunity.